In this video, I'm going to show how Visio 2010 can be used with SharePoint Designer 2010 to create SharePoint workflows. I'll open up Visio, which is part of the Office Suite. In my recently used templates section, I have this SharePoint workflow option. You can also find this by clicking on flowchart and then choosing SharePoint workflow. I can choose either metric or US units and then click create. I get this blank canvas on which to draw my workflow. Down the left, I get various things I could include. These are the most common ones. I can click on workflow actions or workflow conditions to get more. A SharePoint workflow diagram must include a start and terminate option, so I'll stick these in my diagram. I need to choose what my workflow will do. Here I have various actions like to do a calculation, update a list item, set a workflow variable and so on. These are the actions you could set in a SharePoint Designer workflow. I'll set an action to update a list item and another to send an email. Now I want to add a branch. I'll add a condition to check whether the document was edited in a specific date span. I could also check whether the user has specific permissions, do different things based on the file size and so on. Now I'll add some set field actions. I'll also add a pause for duration into one of the branches. I'll draw some arrows to show how all the actions connect. I need to specify after the condition which is the yes branch and which is the no branch. You'll notice I haven't set anything specific on any of these items. I haven't said what list item to update, what email to send or anything. That's why we need SharePoint Designer. Visio is used to make the flow diagram, but you still need SharePoint Designer to write the logic into the workflow. I'll go to the Process tab of the menu. Here there's a SharePoint Workflow section. I'll click the Export button. Now I'll go to SharePoint Designer. I've opened up a SharePoint Server 2010 site. If I click on Workflows, I get this workflow tab at the top. One of the buttons up here is import from Visio. I browse to find the file I saved from Visio and now I get to make some choices. I can rename the workflow and I can choose whether to attach the workflow to a specific list or make it reusable. I'll choose to attach this to the Visio workflow demo list, which is on my SharePoint site. When I click Finish, the workflow logic is created by SharePoint Designer. Here are my actions, update list, send email, and then we have my branch. I need to set the parameters for each of these. In the update item, I'll set the up first update field in the current item to equal a figure. I'll choose to send an email to myself.
And now I need to set the parameters for my branch. I'll set the first one to be now. And the second one to be a time a few minutes in the future. If I wanted, I could set these programmatically, but I'll keep things simple for the sake of a short demo. Now I'll choose to set the second update field to a different value for each branch. And I'll set the pause to two minutes. So now I've set all the variables. If I wanted to, I could make other changes or add other workflow steps. I could export this workflow back to Visio if I needed to make other visual changes. Instead, I'll just make a couple of changes in the workflow settings to make sure that this is automatically kicked off when an item is created. Now I'll click to publish. This will save the workflow to my SharePoint list. Now I'll go to SharePoint and create a new item in this list. This workflow is showing as being in progress. If I refresh, we see that the first update and second update have been completed. If I click on the link, I get a report with more details. I'll go back to my list and create another new item. This time, I'll be outside of my date range. So when I click Save, the workflow will automatically go down the second branch. This time, when I go to In Progress, it shows an event which says that the workflow is pausing for two minutes. So there you've seen a branching workflow that was originally designed in Visio, working in SharePoint Server 2010.